Could the multiverse truly exist? Or is it a mere mirage? In a universe brimming with complexity, new theories emerge that shatter our perceptions and send our imagination racing. As much as we might like to believe that we've unraveled the universe's secrets, we've barely scratched the surface. Ever so often a theory emerges that challenges the very foundation of our knowledge, a theory that dares us to question what we think what we know. Are we players in an advanced game of reality? Or are we mere characters in the greatest simulation ever conceived? These theories often teeter on the edge of acceptance, dismissed as too abstract or daring. Yet history has shown that even the wildest notions can find their place in the fabric of reality. These theories challenge the very essence of our understanding, pushing us to question, explore, and redefine the boundaries of knowledge. Keep watching till the end of this video to embark on a captivating journey into the five theories about the universe that will blow your mind. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. The Many Worlds Theory This theory originated in the 1950s, delves into the perplexing realm where parallel worlds continually splinter off from each other moment by moment, painting a surreal landscape of possibilities. Hugh Everett's idea called the Many Worlds Theory has caught the eye of scientists and regular people too. It's like jumping into a storybook while still keeping your feet in the science world. It's like using the rules of how super tiny things work to make a whole new way to think about reality. Even though it sounds strange, this idea has been around for a long time and keeps scientists and dreamers wondering about all things that could be out there. Carol's work, Something Deeply Hidden, serves as a lucid expose of the many worlds theory and his evolutionary journey beyond Everett's original formulation. Despite its seemingly outlandish nature, Carol skillfully navigates the intricacies of this theory, shedding light on why our observable universe aligns with its principles. The logical coherence of the many worlds theory, as Carroll presents it, labels Everett's brainchild as the best view of reality we have. The foundation of this captivating exploration in quantum mechanics, the bedrock of contemporary subatomic physics, withstanding nearly a century of rigorous testing, quantum mechanics operates on a duality of deterministic wave functions and a selection process that manifests one outcome while discarding the others. However, the manner in which this wave function collapses has provoked multiple interpretations, and Carroll adaptively unpacks these alternatives, underscoring their merits and drawbacks. Carroll's persuasive argument champions the many worlds theory as a direct, uncomplicated route to grasping the intricacies of quantum mechanics. This theory embraces the reality of the wave function asserting that our universe in a single facet of a vast cosmic gem and every event spawns new universes representing alternative possibilities. The elegance of this perspective prompts Carroll to categorize it as courageous, a theory that seamlessly coexists with our observable world, even though these parallel worlds remain invisible like ghosts. Yet, lingering questions remain. Carroll's confident assertion of reality's nature, tethered to scientific theories, prompts philosophical contemplation. The argument emerges, can physics truly dictate the nature of reality, and are the complexities of existence solely within their purview? The existence of white holes. Paul Sutter's recent exploration delves into this captivating puzzle. Are white holes more than just fancy math? Their theoretical existence comes from the deep ideas of general relativity, sparking curiosity with its mind-bending contradictions. Let's start with the basics. We need to know about black holes to understand white holes. Black holes happen when massive stars explode and become super dense. They have a point called a singularity and a boundary called an event horizon, beyond which nothing escapes, not even light. Think about a white hole as a super-odd twin of a black hole. 
they have a singularity and event horizon too. But here's the twist. Anything that gets close to a white hole gets shot out like a cannonball, even faster than light. This creates a bright flash as stuff gets pushed away. It's like a reverse black hole where things are kicked out instead of sucked in. But wait, where are these white holes? Why haven't we seen them? The answer lies beyond Einstein's ideas. We need to bring in things like electromagnetism and thermodynamics to understand more about the universe. Thermodynamics talks about chaos and how it as always increases. It's like throwing a piano into a wood chipper. Chaos happens. But turning wood chips back into a piano is a different story. Similarly, white holes forming from black holes go against the chaos rule. To solve this, we go back to the start of the universe. White holes may have been formed in a unique way back then, dodging the chaos rule. It's like they have a special pass from the early days of the universe. But white holes are still tricky. They can pull things in, but nothing can cross the event horizon. As stuff gets close, it gets zapped. But here's the thing. Nobody has seen a white hole for real. Telescopes haven't even caught a glimpse of it yet. So while white holes are a mind-bending idea, we're not sure if they're real or just cool math fiction. The Fermi Paradox Imagine a universe brimming with stars and planets, a fertile ground for life's emergence. Yet, against this backdrop, a haunting question persists. Where is everybody? This enigma known as the Fermi Paradox grapples with the discrepancy between the high likelihood of extraterrestrial intelligence and the absence of any evidence thereof. Enrico Fermi, a brilliant physicist, casually posed this query in 1950 during a lunchtime conversation. He wondered why, given the universe's vastness and age, Earth had not been visited by other intelligent beings. This seemingly innocent question ignited a profound exploration into the cosmic solitude we find ourselves in. Despite our technology advances and the discovery of thousands of exoplanets, the cosmic silence remains unbroken. The Milky Way alone hosts trillions of stars, many of which are believed to have planets orbiting them. The likelihood of life arising elsewhere in the universe should be substantial, yet our search for cosmic companions has yielded only empty echoes. Possible explanations arise. Perhaps we're not looking hard enough, our observations barely scratch the surface of the cosmos, or intelligent civilizations may have chosen to remain distant or have visited in epochs long past, leaving no trace of their presence. Another unsettling possibility is that life, though a cosmic rarity, had its genesis solely on Earth. In this scenario, we are the sole barriers of the torch of consciousness in the universe. The concept of the Great Filter presents a sobering thought. It suggests that the catastrophic events, whether natural or self-inflicted, could prevent intelligent life from flourishing and propagating. From solar flares to global catastrophes, these filters could extinguish nascent civilizations before they traverse the cosmos. One mathematical attempt to unravel this paradox is the Drake Equation, which estimates the number of intelligent civilizations in the universe. However, uncertainties in its variables shroud the true answer. Hope resides in upcoming telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope, promising to probe the atmospheres of distant exoplanets and potentially reveal signs of life. As we peer into the abyss, the Fermi Paradox compels us to consider the vastness of the cosmos, the silence that pervades, and the myriad possibilities that remain hidden beyond our reach. By the way, speaking of enigmas, have you delved into the intriguing story of Alien Base on the Moon, the true eyewitness story? If you're ready to unlock the secrets of lunar mysteries, make sure to check out that video. Trust me, it's a mind bender you won't want to miss. Now back to our cosmic musings. The universe is a hologram. 
25 years ago, a conjecture emerged in theoretical physics that continues to spark intense debate. Proposed by Juan Maldacena of the Institute for Advanced Study in Princeton, the ADS, CFT, duality conjecture suggests that our universe could be a hologram. Just as a 3D hologram is born from formation on a 2D surface, our 4D spacetime might be a holographic projection of a lower dimensional reality. Mel DeSena's idea revealed that a five-dimensional theory of anti-de Sitter space, ADS, a type of imaginary spacetime containing gravity, could describe the same system as a lower dimensional quantum field theory, CFT, devoid of gravity. This proposed equivalence ignited a fervent exploration in its validity. Over the past 25 years, the ADS, CFT, duality has been wielded to address questions about black hole information loss, to gain insights into cosmic inflation's early epochs, and suggest that space-time could emerge from quantum entanglement in a lower dimensional realm. While the ADS CFT duality has thrived mostly in the realm of anti de Sitter space, which isn't an exact match for our universe de Sitter space, physicists remain optimistic. If a duality working for both sides could be found, it could lead to a profound theory of quantum gravity, uniting general relativity and quantum mechanics. Ultimately, it might imply that our universe is fundamentally a hologram. The Simulation Theory the origins of simulation theory can be traced back to the likes of Plato's allegory of the cave and Descartes' evil demon hypothesis, which explored the enigmatic nature of perception and being. In essence, simulation theory suggests that we perceive as reality might be an intricate, detailed computer simulation, potentially overseen by a higher intelligence. At the forefront of this concept, is philosopher Nick Bostrom's 2003 paper, Are You Living in a Computer Simulation? Bostrom posits that future civilization could create ancestor simulations, detailed virtual realities of the forebears, leading to the possibility that we are currently living within one of these simulations. The programmer behind such a simulation is speculated to be an entity from a higher reality, possibly akin to a deity albeit with an unconventional twist. This higher being might possess unparalleled power, even if they were just an omnipotent teenager running multiple universes as a side project. Simulation theory weaves itself into the fabric of age-old philosophical debates about the nature of reality. Quantum physics further complicates matters, suggesting that the material universe might not be as real as we perceive it to be. Visionaries like physicist John Wheeler have proposed that information underpins reality more than matter. Tech entrepreneur Elon Musk famously suggests that the odds we aren't living in a simulation are one in billions, citing the rapid advancement of technology in creating increasingly realistic virtual worlds. From Pong to photorealistic simulations, the evolution is undeniable. Bostom's argument also hinges on the assumption that future civilizations will have the computation power to create simulations. Although this might seem fantastical, advancements in quantum computing could bridge the gap. However, not everyone is a proponent of simulation theory. Skeptics like Lisa Randall question why advanced beings would bother simulating humanity. Additionally, researchers have proposed the limitations in quantum computing might make creating such an intricate simulation impossible. In the end, simulation theory sparks profound philosophical inquiries. If proven, it would transform our understanding of existence and reshape the way we approach the future. Whether we're living in a highly advanced simulation or experiencing unfiltered reality, the quest for truth continues and the boundaries between the two might be more nebulous than we imagine. As we dive into the depths of this tantalizing theory, we are left to ponder the ultimate question. Are we players or merely characters in the greatest simulation ever conceived? So what's your take on these theories? 
We invite you to share your thoughts in the comments below. Which theory resonates with you the most? Which one keep you pondering late into the night? And remember, the cosmos has even more secrets to reveal. If you're hungry for more mind-expanding explorations, don't miss out on our next adventure. Check out our intriguing video, the Akashic Records, the locked universal knowledge, and our connection to it. Dive into the depths of universal wisdom and our enigmatic connection to it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of our captivating cosmic explorations. Your engagement fuels our quest for knowledge, and together, we'll continue to unravel the mysteries of the universe.